With patients that have diabetes, approximately 15% of them will develop what we call diabetic foot ulcers. These are devastating sores that start to form either at the heel of your foot or around your toe areas. And unfortunately, if those wounds don't close, typically within about a month or so, it puts you at a very high risk of infection. And it becomes harder to treat. A lot of times these open wounds lead to amputation. In fact, diabetes is the number one cause of lower limb, non-traumatic amputation in the world. So it's a very big challenge. identify that stimulating the subject for 30 minutes a day, only 30 minutes a day, was enough to see a very big difference. So what we believe we're doing here is we are allowing cells of the right type, skin cells, to migrate into the wound uh, a lot faster than they would typically. The benefit is that you have a form factor that allows you to wear you know, normal shoes and, and again, no wires sticking out of anywhere and, and you don't really feel the device working. 